Welcome to today's episode of Tech Me Show. Today, we're going to bring something right out of my book that I've been writing. Now, maybe you don't have antivirus, anti-malware, blah, 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 uh, software, right? Um, or maybe you do, and a lot of these programs cannot detect the homebrews. Um, but there are ways for you to basically be your own Norton Internet Security uh, Service. Now, you might be asking, what? Yeah, I have the Windows firewall, but I need added protection. We're not even going to talk about that. Let's say you download something and the file doesn't open, and you think, uh-oh, I just downloaded a Trojan horse, um, and it's sending in the background, and information's going, and I press Control-Alt-Delete, and nothing happened. Well, I'm going to teach you real quick how to see what is going where and if anything's going at all. So, go ahead and open a command prompt. You can go forth and do this by, on your keyboard, pressing uh, Windows key R, which would bring you something like this, the run dialog, and it would be empty, and you would type CMD. Enter. Ta-da! Now, you could also additionally go to Start, and where it says Search Programs and Files, type CMD, and then once it's up there and it says Programs 1, press Enter. And now you have that dialogue again, the command prompt. So there's kind of an ancient command in here that's going to be the best thing ever for you. Um, and the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and display all the connections and anything listening on ports on here. So if I uh, gave you an infection, uh, computer that is, um, and it was uh, listening on a certain port, you right now would be able to tell. So let's go ahead and check by typing, uh, pardon me, by typing net net stat stat space dash and we're gonna go ahead and type A like Apple and press enter. Now as you see it's showing the local addresses and ports. Uh, obviously the zeros in the 127 are local um, and as you see here it has the foreign address, which would be the current computer, if it is indeed local, um, meaning on your actual machine. And it says listening. These are standard things, uh, which is okay. Uh, but when you start seeing things like this on your actual network uh, adapter, um, and you see 139, I believe that's NetBIOS and uh, Network Discovery, that's okay because I have file sharing. Um, however, you should always uh, make it pretty strict on your computer. And as you see, another thing here, 49334, and it's via HTTP. And then we have another one here, which I'm thinking this could be possibly from the Visual Studio that I have open, or it could be from my browser that's open and sending information to an ads company. Nonetheless, it is here, and that anything really on your local address, uh, that, uh, pardon me, your local network address, like the 192 dot blah blah blah, that I would really keep an eye on. But the good news is, it tells us it's HTTP. And there's a connection that was established, one that was closed waiting, uh, which, you know, it, it's always in question. And then the 139, which I believe, again, was the standard uh, listening port for uh, NetBIOS. But now let's go ahead and slide down. Um, and everything seems to be okay. And for this right here, this this uh, UDP line looks like it is IP version 6 address. Um, but let's go ahead and type uh, CLS. That's for clear. Now, let's go ahead and view the full uh, statistics on the um, adapter real quick by typing net and et stat minus, um, I believe it is e for ethernet. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, there we go. This is kind of cool in case you wanted to maybe make a bandwidth monitor or keep up with really what you've been sending and receiving and uh, this would be kind of a good way because right here bytes that would help you out as you can see 
quite a bit here. Um, but this is very good to have, especially if you're a programmer. You could, you know, uh, run a bat file, capture the bytes uh, for received and sent, um, and convert bytes to, uh, well, doesn't matter. But you would get your actual, depending how you wanted it, megabytes, uh, kilobytes, or uh, gigabytes, etc., etc. Now let's go ahead and type CLS again and clear that out. Now the next one, well, this one I really want you to, uh, well, I really want you to take a look at, actually. Um, so let's go ahead and type netstat minus O. Now this goes ahead and uh, shows you the owning process ID associated with each connection, which is important. And as you see, again, it has the local one. It's using uh, TCP, which is the standard uh, uh, form of the uh, uh, way the IP internet protocol um, uh, sends packets, that in UDP. Um, and again, we see this HTTP. I guarantee you if I close my browser, these would no longer exist. How do we know? Because it is HTTP. So that is good to know that um, that would go away. And as you see, the process ID is both 4800, which I'm sure my process ID on my uh, Opera window, which is my web browser, um, it would probably most likely be exactly that. Now, the next thing I want to teach you is basically, well, how to check for your own malware. And this is basically probably the most important thing I can teach you. Uh, since a lot of you guys, I don't know your computer skills, but this is important. Now, you have to have an elevated version of the command prompt. Right? So the best way to do this is, let's go ahead and press start. Type CMD. Now let's go ahead and right click on where it says CMD. Run as administrator. Go ahead and select yes. Now, how do we know it's admin? Right up here, it says administrator, right? So now we want to go ahead and type netstat minus b, as in boy. And go ahead and press enter. Well, look at that. Everything I said about Opera, it seems to be right. And this is great. Because this makes me feel a lot better here. Um, as you see, opera.exe is the one that's with the HTTP. And again, just like I thought, information was constantly being sent out. Um, this is important, and this is good to know. Now, let's say uh, you had a program that you didn't really want loaded in the background because you illegally obtained it, and it's sending activation information. Again... This is just forewarning and education only. You would be able to see what it's doing here. Um, and this is important, guys, uh, because right now I'm going to actually, you know what? Look for our next tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make your own malware detector. You know what? Forget it. We're not going to make another tutorial. We're going to do it right now. Um, basically, We'll do the basics for right now. Let's go ahead and press our up arrow key again. So it's netstat space dash B space. Ready for this, guys? The number five space uh, carrot carrot or greater less than however you want to look at it. And then your drive letter. Mine's going to go ahead and be C colon forward slash. And then I'm going to just call it con.txt and go ahead and press enter. Now, what this basically is doing, uh, it's uh, going to run with the five second interval. Uh, now, I can stop this by doing control uh, enter, which would be fine. But as you see, this is going to do it five times and just really check to see what's going on here and what programs. And it will make a log in our uh, computer here. Um, which, now you might be asking, well, this is dumb or annoying, right? So let's go ahead and uh, kill it after this. And we'll do that by pressing Control-C. Now it's killed. 
And that concludes today's tutorial with the Tech Me Show.